Well, we asked for T.J. Phillips, but look who showed up. It, it's our good. It's all right. Friend. I asked for Dean Stevens. <laughs> that's, that's all good. Nashville Never get News, Dean buddy. Stevens. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Doing fine. Doing fine. You got to, uh, a couple of days off, but there's, you know, it, it, it seems like it's endless information that's coming out of Nashville all the time. Well, People I'll be honest in. with you. Nashville doesn't stop just because I take off a day in Charleston. Yeah. But I'm glad because, you know, when you take a day off, that allows you to actually uh, sleep. Uh, well, sleep. I slept right upset. through this show. When does this air? <laughs> it's live, buddy. Oh, is this live it's right live, now? It's live, yeah. I'm tell, sleeping now. Tell us about what's going on with Nelly, man. Back in Nashville, what? Well, you know, he, he was on that cruise uh, song with Florida Georgia Line, mm -hmm. and he's done some stuff with Tim McGraw. And folks are wondering whether or not he's going to make the crossover in the country. Just yeah. did a cover of Thomas Rhett's Die a Happy Man. Mm -hmm. uh, the short answer is yes, he did a cover of Thomas Rhett's song, um, but he is not crossing over in the country. There's mm -hmm. no truth to the rumor mm -hmm. that he is releasing an EP, that he is going to try to get on country radio. Um, he just enjoys country music. He enjoys hanging with those guys. Thomas Rhett was out on that Florida Georgia Line um, oh. tour, and they all became close, and he really liked that Thomas Rhett song, mm -hmm. Die a Happy Man. So the cover is out there if you want to go check yeah. it out on YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a definitely a different twist on it, um, mm -hmm. but there's no threat that we're going to be playing Toby Keith and Tim McGraw and Nelly mm -hmm. on the Weasel anytime yeah. soon. That's good so, to hear. That's good. Yeah. Stay calm. What you got against Nelly? Uh, nothing. Oh, okay. Just asking the yeah, question. Okay. <laughs> but you did bring up Tim McGraw. You did bring up Tim McGraw a few months ago. Uh, word has it that he actually, so years ago, he sold his high school ring to buy a guitar, and that guitar turns out that he wrote 50 songs along with that guitar? Well, he. this was his freshman year in college. He knew that there was some sort of pull on him to maybe find what he wanted to do with his life. So. Mm -hmm. He pawned that high school ring, mm -hmm. freshman year in college, that summer, learned how to play 50 songs and then kind of hit the bars and played for tips and played for, you know, the occasional wedding. And mm -hmm. 10 years after that, he got his first record deal, early 90s. Mm -hmm. And from there, you know, the rest is history. So it all started with yeah. pawning that high school ring. So wow. you, you never know what the backstory is on some mm -hmm. of these superstars and it doesn't hurt to be tall good looking be able to sing and be able to play the guitar as well it's worked for me <laughs> tell us about deacon <laughs> from nashville this dude is awesome he's just kind uh -huh. of immersed himself mm -hmm. into all things nashville mm -hmm. and um you never know when a tourist is going to be at one of those old honky tonks on broadway mm -hmm. which is you know the main street in downtown mm -hmm. nashville where right out of the back door of the Ryman, those old country stars used to come out of the Ryman and go right into those honky-tonks mm -hmm. in between sets. Deacon, kind of following along with that, will be in there and then just hop up on stage and play. A lot of great video out there mm -hmm. of him doing that. Uh, he did it recently. And, um, you know, he, he just enjoys being a part of the Nashville community. Mm -hmm. And I think after the show is over, um, whenever that is, He's still probably going to be a Nashville uh, a Nashville resident. Mm -hmm. Let's change gears just a little bit. Uh, Casey Musgraves, um, she, she's come out with a number of songs with a number of kind of quotes in there, mm -hmm. and people are kind of stealing those and, and utilize them with the way they want to, and that's that's against copyright laws, isn't it? Well, you know, one one that I can think of is she has a song called Biscuits, and it mm -hmm. and it says, "Mind your own biscuits, mm -hmm. and life will be gravy." Mm -hmm. So that's just something catchy that somebody would put on a sign that you could you know hang sure. in your house somewhere. And one of the big Western stores. Um, big brand Western stores that are in yeah. multiple markets kind of stole that mm -hmm. and she's sick of it. So she went to Instagram and she put out, look, theft is not a compliment. Mm -hmm. Stop. If you want to help me fight this, go to my mm -hmm. website, buy my lyrics. I see these not just with me, but with everybody. Sure. You see these lyrics that end up on signs and on T-shirts and in different places where people don't think that they're stealing, but mm -hmm. we don't see a dime of that. So yeah. help us fight intellectual property. Again, theft is not a compliment. So she's really fighting hard since then. You know, that particular sign that was in question yeah. has been taken down, but the, the, the fight is definitely still the out there. Bottom line is just shake it off. Shake yeah, it off. shake it off. That's uh, we're right. also talking about a guy. Okay, we've got Seawee Weekend coming up mm -hmm. downtown. We've got ballet at 530 on Saturday at yeah. the Performing Arts Center. We've got Dinah Shore or Dinosaurs. Yeah, and Dinah Shore. She's yes, a dinosaur. Okay. But we've got a guy that, that decided he wanted to come to Charleston, and he was going to put on one concert. Now he's putting on four concerts yeah. at the North Charleston Coliseum. A guy named Garth Brooks. Yeah, you've heard, have you heard of him? I've heard of him, yeah. 
Yeah, this Jeez. weekend's going to be busy. Like you were saying earlier, yeah. if you can't find something to do this weekend, you're just not trying very Ride hard. By the light, my friend. Absolutely. Good uh, to have you with us, buddy. We're out All of right, time. man. Let's I'm see. out. See yeah, you. Bye. You got, Good. We're back in Cass? just a moment with Low Country Live. Stay with us right after the <laughs>